All good. Please listen carefully to the following announcements. NLCC is happy to serve our children this and every Sunday at 10 a.m. at our weekly Kids for Christ Children's Church. We have amazing children's ministry workers and great content to help your child or children have a deeper understanding of the Word of God. Mark your calendars! The Ignite Teens Ministry invites all teenagers to come together for an exciting gathering on Friday, April 19th for an evening of fellowship, fun, and spiritual growth. Save the date for NLCC's pre-Mother's Day banquet on May 11th at 6 p.m. We kindly request all mothers intending to attend to register at the usher's desk. Let's celebrate and honor mothers together. NLCC's ministry leaders meeting will be held on Sunday, April 14th at 6.30 p.m. in the fellowship hall. All ministry leaders are asked to be on time. Dive deeper into the word with our Wednesday Bible study session, Virtues for Everyday Living, led by Pastor Vanya Grant. Don't forget to grab your copy of the book to follow along during the study. Books are available for purchase from our ushers for $20 each. Let's enrich our hearts and minds together in fellowship and study. Join us at 7.30 p.m. using Zoom ID 878 972-390-77 942-390-77 See you there! Our weekly Monday morning prayer and fasting service continues tomorrow at 10 a.m. Join us as we seek God's face and a time of prayer and intercession. Calling all prayer warriors! Mark your calendars for our prayer session on Zoom next Thursday at 10 p.m. Join us using Zoom ID 878-942-3907. The Church of God in Eastern Canada will be hosting the 2024 Junior Talent Regional Playoffs, and the children of NLCC will be participating. The Bible Division will be held on the 12th and 13th at the Family Life Worship Center. The Music Division will be held on April 19th and 20th at Tyndale University Chapel. And the Drama Division will be held on the 26th and 27th at the Covenant of Promise Ministries. Let us cheer on our children as they prepare for the regional playoffs. Young adults, join us this Friday at 7.30 p.m. for a dynamic group discussion in our Young Adults Ministry. We'll be delving into the practical application of biblical principles to tackle everyday challenges. It's an opportunity to learn, share, and grow together in faith. Don't miss out on this enriching experience. See you there. Attention all believers. Get ready for an uplifting event of worship and praise at the Keep Your Dreams Alive concert presented by WK Music. Join us for an inspiring celebration of faith featuring Petra K, Second Chance, K Morris, Stacy Little, and our beloved Nadia Good. Tickets are $40 in advance and $50 at the door. Children aged 10 to 15 years old enjoy half price admission while those nine and under are free. Secure your tickets from any usher and join us on Saturday, May 18th, 2024 at New Life Covenant Center. Here at NLCC, we have four convenient ways to give. In person, using the card machine or the offering baskets provided. Via Interact e-transfer to giving at newlifecovenantcenter.com. By texting New Life 7050 to 77977 or by selecting the donate option on our website, newlifecovenantcenter.com. Let us remember to pray for each other, especially for those who are sick, shut in, 
or have lost a loved one. Remember also to be God's hands extended to those in need and share a word of encouragement to lift someone's spirit. See you next Sunday at 10 a.m. in person or online for our weekly Sunday service. We look forward to you joining us in worship. God bless you, NLCC family. And just give a hallelujah to our God because he is good, because he is great. It is nothing for who we are. It's not because we are special this morning, saints, but it's because of his grace and his mercy that has brought us through saints amen and amen in psalms 84 this morning it says how lovely is your dwelling place O lord of heaven's armies i long yes i faint with longing to enter into the courts of the lord with my whole being my body and soul hallelujah with my whole being body and soul i will shout joyfully to the living god hallelujah even the sparrow finds a home do we hear that saints even the sparrow so who are we even the sparrow this morning finds a home amen and the swallow builds her nest and raises her young at a place near your altar O lord of heaven's army my king and my God, my Savior, what joy for those who can live in your house, always singing your praises this morning. So saints, can we just sing our praises to the Lord? Can we lift up a hallelujah, Jesus? Can we lift up a hallelujah, Jesus? Because you are a good, good God, a good, good Father, dear God. And we give all the praises to you, dear God. We thank you for what you're doing and what you're about to do in the midst this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, saints. We praise your name. And at this time, dear God, I call on our praise and worship team, dear God. Even though they're coming with praise and worship, we have come into the house, as the scripture said, with a praise in our hearts with a praise on our lips, saints. So we cannot wait for the praise and worship team. We have our own testimonies this morning of the goodness of God. At least I have my testimony of the goodness of God. So I welcome Reverend Nadia Good and the praise team this morning. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Did you come to worship him this morning? Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Come on, blessings and honor, blessings and honor. Glory and power be unto me. Sing it again, sing blessings and oh blessings. 
glory and
right. Hallelujah. 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 Sister Crystal was talking about testifying this morning. This is one of my favorite songs. If God be for you, then who can be against you? April 8th was two years since we buried my friend Temi. So it's a hard song to sing. But when God manifests his glory, and his presence and works the miraculous even when things don't end up the way that you want them we just have to give him the praise and the glory because in spite of it all I can still say with confidence that God is for me. If you know the God I serve, you can say it for yourself. That God is, God is for me. And if God is for you, then no one, no demon, no situation can be against you your trust in the God of your salvation and watch the miraculous unfold
Oh 
Hallelujah. You deserve the glory. Hallelujah, you deserve the glory. Keep on praising saints, keep on praising. All the saints and angels will rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve the glory. You are worthy of it all, Jesus. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory for from you are all things and to you are all things you deserve the glory hallelujah you're worthy of it all hallelujah Jesus hallelujah you're worthy of it all thank you Jesus in Romans 11 it says for everything comes from him and exists by his power and is intended for his glory. All glory to him forever. Hallelujah, Jesus. Can we just give the Lord some praise this morning? Because he is worthy of it all. Worthy of it all, dear God. Thank you, Jesus. All the saints and angels will bow before his throne hallelujah jesus we thank you this morning hallelujah jesus i thank you this morning i thank you jesus hallelujah 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 i give you the highest praise this morning hallelujah jesus the song said if who can be against us if god is for us who can be against us if nobody loves me, still his heart adores me. I am loved. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The highest praise. All he wants from us saints is our praise. All he wants from us is our praise. Hallelujah. And this morning I've come to give him praise because he is a good, good father. He is a good, good father this morning. That is enough to give him the praise and to give him the glory. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Thank you to the praise and worship team. Thank you, Jesus. Can I ask the saints to stand this morning as we read our morning scripture? Hallelujah. And it's going to be, it's going to be taken from Psalms, Psalms 84, verses 1 through 12. I, I read a briefly um, a few scriptures this morning, a few verses this morning. Um, but I'm just led to read it again this morning. That's Psalms 84. Uh, verses 1 through 12, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. And if we have the word, I see it's on the screen, but can we just say, I have the word? Amen. And it says, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of heaven's armies. I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord. While my with my whole being, body and soul I will shout joyfully to the living God even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow builds her nest and raises her young at a place near your altar 
O Lord of heaven's army, my king, that's ownership, my king and my God. Verse 4 says, what joy for those who can live in your house, always singing your praises. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord, who have set their minds on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing springs. The autumn rains will clothe it with blessing. They will continue to grow stronger and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem. Verse eight says, O Lord God of heaven's armies, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob. O God, look with favor upon the king our shield show favor to the one you have anointed verse 10 says a single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else a single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else i would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my god than live the good life in the homes of the wicked Verse 11 says, for the Lord God is our sun and our shield. He gives us grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing. No good thing will he withhold from those who do what is right. O Lord of heaven's army, what joy for those who trust in him. Saints, can we just say amen to the word of God? It is yea and it is amen. No good thing will he withhold. No good thing, nothing will he withhold from those who do right, who do what is right in Jesus' name. That is the word of the Lord. Can we say amen? Amen, amen. Thank you, saints. You may be seated. Amen. At this time, I just wanted to say good morning, NLCC. Um... It is a good day to be in the house of the Lord. It started out with rain and then I seen the sun come out. So glory be to God for the sun. Um, welcome our lead pastor, our senior pastor, um, Bishop Dr. Kenu Blake, yes. Clap him up saints, yes. And his wife, Lady Ethel Adams Blake. And to our executive pastor, um, Bishop Vanya Grant and Lady Grant, we welcome you in the house of the Lord this morning. I want to say a big shout out, and I know Bishop Grant would say, big up yourself to those who are online, on YouTube, um, Facebook, um, in the service this morning. We thank you. You did a good thing to, to be in the house of the Lord, even though you are not here. Virtually, God is everywhere. There's no distance with God. Um, do we have any first time visitors in the house? Any verse, first time, any second time visitors in the house, any third time visitors? So we are family, NLCC, we are family. So can we just get up? Can we greet somebody? Can we say, I love you? We don't know what kind of week we had. So we need to show love. So can we just say a good morning to somebody, our neighbor? Amen. feeling welcome in the house of the Lord. Amen and amen. 
before we call up the children for K4C. I just want to take some time to shout out um, the K4C ministry um, for their hard work and ongoing commitment um, to really pouring into our, our young people. Can we just clap that clap at that, saints? Yes, um, I hope I don't miss any names, but we know Sister Caroline, Sister Nadia, Sister Kanisha, and this guy right here, Brother Daniel. Yes, yes, Brother Daniel has worked so hard. Yes, I think he deserves another clap. He has worked so hard um, with our young people, preparing them for junior talent, um, especially in the, in the area of Bible quiz. And I just want um, Brother Daniel to share um, with us, church, what is happening um, with uh, Junior Talent and our, our young people. Bless, bless the Lord. Good morning, everybody. So, yeah, good morning, good morning, good morning. I need some more than that. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's, man, <laughs> I'm a little exhausted after yesterday, but, man, yesterday was, um, was incredible. So, as we, many of us know, April... It's time for junior talent or teen talent this year's junior talent and uh yesterday was um bible quizzing um so I, i'm i'm gonna say this. this is one of the longest most exhausting days physically and mentally but it was a good day i had my team i had uh they're sitting over there they got jesse over there we got yeah preston joanna naomi and then oh, she just walked in and nia grace was not here but man i we were working with these kids um since january just preparing them and um, man, I honestly, these kids were ecstatic. They were just like, Daniel, we want to practice every Sunday, every Sunday. Oh, where do we practice? Are we doing Bible quiz? And, and just the enthusiasm, it was, it was, it was heartwarming to see. Um, so my, my kids, they, they did incredibly well. Uh, for first timers, like the very first time doing this, they were incredible. Like, I, I, could, I could be any more proud of them. Um, they came in second place yesterday out of six teams. So I've never seen so many teams. Six, like, that's a lot of teams. That, I've never seen so many teams in a, in a pool ever. And we were there from, I believe, 9. And we left at 6, right? 6 p.m.? So that was almost like nine hours just at uh, uh, Family Life down, down the road. Um, but, I, again, I'm proud of these kids. And, and because there's now an international level, oh, sorry. Because there's now an international level, I'm glad to say I, I can take these kids all the way to the States. This time we're going to Indiana, right? Indiana, where General Assembly is. So... Um, I do want to say keep praying for my kids. Keep praying for all the kids. This week is uh, music. I think two weeks from now is the drama and dance. So keep uh, supporting the kids. Keep praying for them. Any way that you could help sponsor or help pray or help, you know, just mentor or um, just minister to any of the kids, whether it's my kids, whether it's uh, at the end of dancers, any of the, the, the people in skit, any of the people doing choir, just, you know, show them some love because we these, these are our future, right? These are our kids. We need to invest in them. I, I know personally as a band that um, grew up in this church that's done Bible quizzing and all the skits and all this stuff. You've seen me grow up. You've seen where I am now. So, and it's because people invested in me in any well, which sort of way. So, I, I, I ask you personally, just to share with the other kids, share with your sons, daughters, any other kids that you see, young, old, teen, or older rather, teenager, or uh, tall, even the toddlers. Like, just show them love because um, they, they 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 definitely need it. And you'll never know. You never know what, what you could bring out of them. So, um, just continue to support the kids and um, well, bless God for them. Amen. Saints, I don't know if we heard what Brother Daniel said, but I'm going to reiterate what he said, that we came in second for Bible quiz. The kids know the word, saints. And these are first time Bible quizzers. And now they're going to represent NLCC, Eastern Canada. So saints, we need to stand up and big up our young kids, our young people, saints. Amen, we love you, congratulations. Well done. You deserve it. Brother Daniel, big up yourself. Big up. Amen. We need to show our kids, as Brother Daniel said, love. Hug on them. Kiss them up when you see them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. At this time, I'm going to call our executive pastor as he comes to lead us um, in offering. Bishop Grant, thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we just lift hands and give our God a shout of praise? 
Are we happy to be in the presence of God? Are we thankful this morning for the goodness of God in our lives? Can we just stand on our feet, church, and just take a few seconds to magnify Him? In your own way, just go ahead and just thank Him. In your own way, go ahead and bless Him. In your own way, go ahead and give Him praise this morning. Our God is awesome. And we can declare using the words of the songwriter today. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are worthy of our praise. And to you, our voice we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Can we tell him that he is awesome? Can we tell him how great he is? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your love and your mercies that are new every morning. Faithful are you, Lord. I just feel like worshiping God. I just feel like giving him praise. Hallelujah. There's a praise in my heart that caused me to want to shout and run hallelujah thank you Jesus praise the Lord it's time to, to give to this faithful God it's time to worship this awesome God this loving God with our finances Giving is an act of faith and it's a sign of our faithfulness and obedience to God. We are called and challenged today to give to God. So I invite you, let us get ready to give or to worship God with our tithes and with our offering. Because we know that he is faithful. We know that if we anchor our faith in him, his word will become a reality in our everyday experience. And so we are giving to God. We will not allow our experiences to hinder our giving. We will not allow the distractions of the time to stop us from giving. We are going to remain faithful to God. Let us bow our hearts together in prayer. Faithful God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Jehovah Jireh, we come today. We come giving back to you. You who is a giver by nature. We love you and we are, th we are thankful for all the good gifts that you continue to bless us with. Lord, bless every giver today. Release your power and your favor upon every giver. As we give back to you, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Worship team. Praise his name.
Hallelujah. Reverend Nadia said, doesn't matter what the pocketbook looks like. God has the final say. Amen. I can attest to that. God has the final say. Amen. At this time, uh, we're going to call our children for Kids for Christ. Can you come quickly, please? And church, as they come, yes, just give them a round of applause as they come. And Brother Daniel is going to pray a quick prayer over them. And then it's going to be time for the, the word. Amen. All right, everybody, stretch your hands to these kids. Father, we just like to thank you for um, these beautiful young men, young women, God. We thank you for um, your grace over their lives. We thank you for um, that you love them, Father God. You're a loving God. You're a heavenly Father. So we address you as that, Father. And as they go off to the children's church, we just pray, oh God, that whatever activity they do, oh God, that Father, your you're in the um, your Holy Spirit will be in the midst of them, God. That you'll help them grow, oh Lord, and develop as um, as men, as women, as as people that. Um, Oh, grow and develop in your kingdom, Father God, as future uh, professionals, as future even possible pastors, even, Father God. We thank you, O oh Lord, for their lives. We thank you for the grace of their lives. We thank you for their destinies, O oh God. And we just pray, O oh God, that, O oh Lord, you give them the strength and the, and the revelation and the wisdom, O oh Lord, to reach their destinies, to reach, O oh Lord, whatever, O oh Lord, you call them to be, whoever you call them to be, whatever you call them to do, O oh Father God. We just like to thank you, O oh Lord, once again for them. We just pray, O oh Lord, that today, O oh Lord, will be a fruitful day for these kids, O oh Lord, and that God will... That will be um, one of just many fruitful days, O oh Lord, in their fruitful lives, Father. We ask, O oh Lord, for your grace and your uh, providential hand over them. And we thank you and we celebrate you in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And we say amen. Amen. And saints, it is time for the word. And I'm going to ask if we can just stand as we prepare to hear the word. And I have been tasked um, with the honor of introducing um, today's speaker. Um, and I, I would want a bio, or to even read a bio um, of this speaker. But um, there is no bio needed um, to talk about um, the great person, um, the woman of God, who she is. Um, where do I start? I said, woman of God, um, great mother. Um, you know, people would say she's a very supportive wife, um, a prayer warrior. I would call her and reference her as a tech genius or tech guru, um, but more importantly, a great, great friend. Um, church and LCC, um, both of the family, the grants, um, came from Jamaica they were a gift to New Life Covenant Center and they truly have been a gift to the body of Christ and Saints at this time I just want to welcome um, Lady Corrine Grant as she comes yes church yes Bishop yes and as she comes Saints and Corrine, as you come and as you as you speak, thus saith the Lord, I pray that your words will just come out fluently, with clarity, um, any nervousness, anything that the enemy comes to distract, we tear down and we trample on him because we are going to hear, thus saith the Lord this morning. And we stand on your word and we thank you for your servant, dear God. Thank you that she was inclined to hear your word, dear God. And we thank you for this morning and what is about to happen. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. And the church says, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Let the church say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do I have a worshiping church this morning? Can we just take a few seconds and send some praises up to God? You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb. You are worthy, mighty God. We give you thanks. Oh God, you are the everlasting Father. You are the Rose of Sharon. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the one who 
was and is to come we magnify you we bless you we lift you up hallelujah 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 glory to the name of Jesus hallelujah what a mighty God we serve angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him what a mighty magnificent awesome God we serve can we give God some praise again hallelujah you may be seated in the presence of the Lord glory to God I take this opportunity to greet our lead pastor Bishop Dr. Knut Blake and his lovely wife Lady Ethel Blake my wonderful husband our executive pastor Pastor Vanya Grant yes man yes put your hands together to God be praised all the members of the presbytery all the leaders of this church all the members visiting friends our viewers online I greet you all well in the mighty name of Jesus our soon coming King there is a song that says heaven sounding sweeter all the time seems like lately it's always on my mind someday hallelujah we'll leave this world behind heaven sounding sweeter all the time is there anyone looking forward to their heavenly home i don't know about you but i want to go to heaven and rest I'm tired of staying down here, tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you would turn your Bibles with me or turn your attention to the overhead screens, turn your Bibles to 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 16 and 17. It's a well-known scripture. One that we don't talk about often enough. We, we hear a lot about the prosperity gospel. But today we're going to be talking about our heavenly home. Hallelujah. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 and 17. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord can we say amen to the reading of God's holy words? Father, we honor you this morning. We thank you for your words. We thank you, mighty God, that, Lord, this word has been prepared. And, and we pray, God, that it will go forth with power and with clarity. God, I pray that today someone's heart will be convicted to surrender their life to you, to serve you and serve you alone, to live holy and acceptable lives before you, mighty God. I pray, God, I decree this morning that transformation will take place in the name of Jesus, that someone will run to the altar and say, yes, Lord, I surrender to your will and to your way. Have your way today, Jesus. Have your way, Almighty God. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, let the church say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. NLCC family, there's a particular statement that most, if not all of us, have heard or have mentioned at some point in our lives. 
This statement is one which serves as a word of encouragement as well as a warning. This statement is encouraging because it gives us as believers hope, something grand to look forward to, as, as well as many reasons to rejoice. This statement also serves as a warning for non-believers who may be unaware or possibly unprepared that now is the time to get your house in order. This statement is simple, yet very profound. And it simply says, Jesus is coming soon. Somebody just look at your neighbor and say, Jesus is coming soon. On Monday, April 8th, most if not all of us watched with great expectancy the unfolding of a rare celestial event. I'm talking about the solar eclipse that happened last Monday. The next solar eclipse will happen or will be visible again in North America in 2044. But just in case you want to see it before then, we will have to book our tickets and head to Ireland or Greenland or even Portugal in 2026 to see such another rare spectacle. What was particularly interesting, Sister Vanessa, is that there were many false prophecies from believers stating that the world was coming to an end and that Jesus was coming on April 8th. I have to wonder if we are reading the same Bibles that these persons are reading. Because when we read our Bibles, we are fully aware of St. Matthew 24, verse 36, which reminds us about the day nor the hour, but about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. St. Matthew 24, verses 23 and 24 also reminds us, at that time, if anyone says to you, look, here is the Messiah, or there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Do not be deceived, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. We may not know the day or hour when Jesus will return, but we are told of things that will occur when we are drawing closer to his return. Sister Angie St. Luke 21 verses 9 and 2 11 tells us, when you hear of wars and uprisings, do not be frightened. These things must happen first. But the end will not come right away. Nation will rise against nation. And if you're following the news, you will hear about the Israeli strike yesterday on Iran. Hallelujah. And, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines and pestilences in various places. And fearful events and great signs from heaven. This is in St. Luke 21, 9 to 11. Verse 28 and 29 tells us, At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up, lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Hallelujah. The signs of the time, they are everywhere. Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The scriptures are filled with many prophecies that have already been fulfilled and that are yet to be fulfilled. Our text today from 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 16 and 17, highlights three things 
that we should expect to be fulfilled. The first thing the text highlights is that we should expect the return of Jesus. Expect the return of Jesus. Verse 16 of the text says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. When Christ returns, he will come with the clouds and every eye will see him according to Revelation 1 verse 7. He is going to return to take those who are ready to be with him in heaven. Notice that he is not sending a disciple. He is not sending the Holy Spirit. He is not sending one of his angels. Jesus himself will be coming. Acts chapter 1 verses 10 and 11 reminds us of what two men clothed in white said to the disciples after Jesus ascended to heaven, into heaven. They asked the question, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven so what this is saying to us church is that the disciples saw jesus go physically they saw him go personally so when the lord comes down from heaven we who are alive will see him physically and we will see him personally hallelujah hallelujah not only will we see him physically and personally, when Jesus returns, there will be three audible signals to prompt this amazing event. We will hear a shout. We will hear the voice of the archangel. And we will hear the trump of God. The return of Jesus will not be a silent or secret event. One commentator mentioned that Paul's use of the word shout is similar to the sound made by that of an army general, very commanding, and with the sound of authority. The voice of the archangel, believed to be the voice of Michael, will be a very great and powerful sound. And the trumpet of God will give a sound that will gather all of the believers together. What a day that will be when we hear the trumpet of God, when we hear the shout, when we hear the voice of the archangel, when we see Jesus return. What a day that will be. So in expecting the return of Jesus, we will see him physically, we will see him personally, and we will hear three sounds, a shout, the voice of the archangel, and the trump of God. Hallelujah. The second thing the text highlights is that we should expect the resurrection. The second part of verse 16 says, and the dead in Christ shall rise first so after the return there is the resurrection paul's point to the thessalonians is clear those that have died in christ will not be left out they will in fact ascend first with an incorruptible and immortal body a body that can no longer experience any more sickness or pain, no more cancer, arthritis, back pain, no more of that. An incorruptible and immortal body. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A body that is not only fit for heaven, but one in which we will be able to recognize our loved ones that have gone on before us. St. Matthew 17 verses 1 to 3 tells us, 
that Peter, James, and John were able to recognize Jesus in his transfigured state. Not only did they recognize Jesus, they recognized Moses and Elijah as well. Given that Peter, James, and John were able to recognize Jesus, Moses, and Elijah, we too will be able to recognize our loved ones in heaven. This is why it is so important for us to tell our family and friends about Jesus and to encourage them to surrender their lives to the Lord so that those that die in Christ, when we, re when we reunite in heaven, I'll be able to see my husband. I'll be able to see Bishop and Lady Blake. I'll be able to identify and recognize you, Sister Cheryl. Hallelujah. I'll be able to recognize you as well, Sister Cindy. We will all recognize each other when we are in heaven at that grand reunion. When we stand around, around the throne of God. Oh, there is going to be a meeting in the air, in the sweet by and by. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. We will have a grand time. Many of us have lost loved ones, close friends and family members that have died in Christ. Rest assured that the day is coming that we will reunite with them in heaven and there will be a grand celebration with them when we reunite. What a wonderful experience it will be seeing our loved ones again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So as believers, we are firstly expecting the return of Jesus. Secondly, we are expecting the resurrection of the dead in Christ. And thirdly, we are expecting the rapture of the church. Brothers and sisters, we won't always meet like this. There is coming a time where we won't gather like this anymore because we will be caught up with Jesus in the air. Brothers and sisters, those that are alive when Jesus returns will be caught up to meet him in the air. The words caught up are derived from the Greek word harpazo and the Latin word rapturus, which when translated to English gives us the word rapture, which means to be snatched away or to be caught up. Therefore, a day is coming when those who are washed in the blood of the Lamb those who have been living for God, those who have been living holy and acceptable lives will be taken, will be raptured from this world. A day is coming when we will say farewell to this world. How do we know this? Jesus gave these comforting words in St. John 14 verses 1 to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I have gone to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we are ready, when the Lord returns, the believers will be caught up to meet God in heaven. The songwriter declares... This robe of flesh, I will drop and rise and shout while passing through the air. Farewell, 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 farewell to sickness, farewell to pain, farewell to heartache, farewell to wars, farewell to crosses, farewell to troubles, farewell to problems, farewell, farewell, farewell. farewell. Hallelujah. We will meet Jesus in the air. What therefore then, brothers and sisters, is the conclusion of this matter? 
We understand that we are living in perilous times, Mother McPherson. We understand that we are living in the last days. We understand that Jesus is coming soon. We understand that those who die in Christ will be resurrected. And we understand that those who are alive when Christ returns will be raptured or will be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. So church, having this understanding, what then are we to do? We need to get ready. Somebody say, get ready. It's as simple as that, you know. We have to not only get ready, but we have to stay ready. We have to live ready. Amen, church. We cannot go around living loose lives, living carelessly, living any way that pleases this flesh. But we have to walk according to the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We have to spend time in the word. We have to seek the Lord for ourselves. We have to get to know God for ourselves and know what his plans are for us. We have to have clean hands, pure hearts. Now is not the time to be living with malice and envy. No, it's not the time to be having terrible arguments and fighting with family members and friends. No, it's the time to clean up our lives. No, it's the time to get our house in order. No, it's the time for us to spend more time in the altar and say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. Oh, unclean man that I am, God, cleanse me from my ways. God, I know the things that I'm not supposed to do. Those things are the things that I'm doing. And the things that I am to do, those things I am not doing. God, clean me up. Fix me up, Jesus. Some of us, we go through life and we, we fix up and we, we look all nice in our outfits and everything. But when we look at the inward man, there is a problem. Is it well with your soul? When Christ returns, will he be able to say, come my child, enter into my rest? Or will he say, depart from me, I know you not. Now is the time to get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Some of us may have to return to some family members and say, I'm sorry. Some of us may say to some friends, may have to say to some friends, I have hurt you, I have offended you. I am sorry. The, the whole aim of this is to make it into heaven. Clean hands, pure hearts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming for a church that is ready to go back with him. I want to see all of us at that grand reunion in the air. We don't know what will happen to us the very moment we step out of this building. So this is why it is a warning to get ready. When you hear the words of the Lord, harden not your heart. Today is the acceptable day of the Lord. Today is the day. Stand before him. Pour it all on the altar. And say, God, here I am. Here I am, God. Have your way in my life. I surrender all to you. Because I I want to be counted in that number when the saints go marching in. Glory to God. Brothers and sisters, expect the return of Jesus. Expect the resurrection of those who have died in Christ. And if we are alive 
um, at the time when Christ returns, expect to be caught up, expect to be raptured, to meet him in the air. Can we all stand? Hallelujah. 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 What will it be when we get over yonder? Oh, glory to God. Help us to be ready for your return. If the praise team can help me sing this song, coming soon. Jesus in all his glory. Not just as Savior, but as reigning King. Coming soon and the whole world will be a witness. Oh, be ready. For he is coming soon. And if you're here today and you have not yet surrendered your life to the Lord, the altar is right here. If you even want to stand where you are and raise your hand and say, Lady K, pray for me. Or Pastor Grand, Pastor Blake, pray for me. Help me to make Jesus my choice. Hallelujah. Coming soon. Yes, Jesus. Jesus in all his glory. Not just a savior, but a reigning king. Coming soon and the whole Somebody raise your hands and sing that again. Coming soon, Jesus in all his glory, not just a Savior. Do that one more time for somebody. sing it one more time are we ready are we prepared are we looking forward Jesus Jesus in all his glory not just a savior hallelujah but a reigning king yes he is coming soon church be ready. So be ready he is coming soon for he is coming soon. hallelujah can we just give God thanks for his word can we give God thanks for his servant father we thank you for your word we have been reminded 
and we are challenged today I pray that you will continue to anoint and to use your servant. Lord, continue, God, to pour into your servant. Bless her, God, and strengthen her in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we put our hands together one more time? We have listened to the word. We don't often hear this sort of word. And we are challenged today. Sisters and brothers, as we live daily, we live expecting a lot of stuff. We live with this sense of expectation. What will happen next week? What we will, what we will do as we go back to work this week? We have a lot of expectations as we live our daily lives. But while we live with different expectations, let us not forget about the return of Jesus Christ. Let us not forget that there will be a great resurrection of the dead in Christ. Let us not forget about the rapture of the people of God. Sisters and brothers, he is coming soon. He went away. Not to stay. He's coming back again. And the challenge for the church is to get ready. And to stay ready. Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Are you prepared for the coming of the Lord? It's up to you. If you want to come to this altar and to say, Lord, I want to be ready because your signs are everywhere that you are coming back again. And I want to be ready. I want to be in that number. So I, I invite you to bow your heads with me at this time. And as you bow your heads, I want to find out if there is anyone in this church. You believe in Jesus but you are not yet born again and you are saying I want to be in that number when the saints come marching in if you are such a one I invite you to raise your hands wherever you are is there one person is there one person hallelujah we are looking forward to that day when we shall be with the Lord. Some glad morning. We shall see. Jesus in the air. Coming after. You and me. What joy for us to share. Father we thank you for your word. One more time. Lord I pray. That as your children here on earth. That you will help us to be ready. Lord. Help us to live the life that will cause us to be ready. Help us, God, to let go of the things that easily beset us. Lord, forgive us as we repent today. Empty us of everything, God, that is not good for our soul. As a church, our desire is to make it into heaven. So may you have mercy upon us. May you pardon us. May you sanctify us. Lord, we want to be where you are. Dwelling in your presence. Feasting at your table. Surrounded by your glory. In your presence. That's where I want to be. We want to be. Forgive us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. Can you put your hands together for the speaker this morning? Sisters and brothers, I give God thanks for his word. You may be seated. I give God thanks for 
his servant that have spent time in preparing to share what God has laid on her heart. Praise the Lord. And we continue to pray for our speaker who challenged us today and is sending us home early. I tell her that I want to be like her because I, I, I find it a challenge, Bishop, to preach for 30 minutes. And, you know, she, she, she was right on the ball. She said it's 25 to 30 unless the Lord say otherwise. But I'm sending you home early. She said... don't know where it come from church I don't know yeah excuse me you know she said that she's sending us home early today and I give God thanks because not just early but a word to steer us as we go throughout this week and as and to steer us on as we live for God and I'm so blessed to call her my wife can we put our hands together for her one more time Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to say a few things to us before we, we turn to our screens for the announcements. I know the welcome was done earlier, but I just want to recognize Brother Warrell and his beautiful wife, Sister Joan. We give God thanks for them. Just wave your hand so we just bless God. We, we just bless God, bless God for, for them. And it's a good place to start because I'm going to start on that note. It's in our announcements as well. Um... You will hear it in our announcements. But you know we have mentioned the May 18th concert that will be here on the 18th of May at 6 p.m. And we are anticipating a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. And so if you haven't gotten your tickets as yet, please stop at the usher's desk right out there to get your ticket and be a part of this blessed experience. Amen, everybody. Please pay attention to our screens at this time. Thank you for joining us in worship at the New Life Covenant Center. We are a Christ-centered church with a people-caring ministry. Located at 7050 Bramley Road in the city of Mississauga. Please listen carefully to the following announcements. NLCC Mother's Day Banquet on May 11th at 6 p.m. We kindly request all mothers intending to attend to register at the usher's desk. Let's celebrate and honor mothers together. NLCC's Ministry Leaders Meeting will be held on Sunday, April 14th at 6.30 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. All ministry leaders are asked to be on time. Dive deeper into the word with our Wednesday Bible study session, Virtues for Everyday Living led by Pastor Vanya Grant. Don't forget to grab your copy of the book to follow along during the study. Books are available for purchase from our ushers for $20 each. Let's enrich our hearts and minds together in fellowship and study. Join us at 7.30 p.m. using Zoom ID 878-942-39077. See you there!
Our weekly Monday morning prayer and fasting service continues tomorrow at 10 a.m. Join us as we seek God's face and a time of prayer and intercession. Calling all prayer warriors, mark your calendars for our prayer session on Zoom next Thursday at 10 p.m. Join us using Zoom ID 878-942-3977. The Church of God in Eastern Canada will be hosting the 2024 Junior Talent Regional Playoffs and the children of NLCC will be participating. The Bible Division will be held on the 12th and 13th at the Family Life Worship Center. The Music Division will be held on April 19th and 20th at Tyndale University Chapel. And the Drama Division will be held on the 26th and 27th at the Covenant of Promise Ministries. Let us cheer on our children as they prepare for the regional playoffs. Young adults, join us this Friday at 7.30 p.m. for a dynamic group discussion in our young adults ministry. We'll be delving into the practical application of biblical principles to tackle everyday challenges. It's an opportunity to learn, share, and grow together in faith. Don't miss out on this enriching experience. See you there. Attention all believers, get ready for an uplifting event of worship and praise at the Keep Your Dreams Alive concert presented by WK Music. Join us for an inspiring celebration of faith featuring Petra Kay, Second Chance, Kay Morris, Stacey Little, and our beloved Nadia Good. Tickets are $40 in advance and $50 at the door. Children aged 10 to 15 years old enjoy half-price admission while those 9 and under are free. Secure your tickets from any usher and join us on Saturday, May 18th, 2024 at New Life Covenant Center. Here at NLCC, we have four convenient ways to give. In person, using the card machine or the offering baskets provided via Interact e-transfer to giving at newlifecovenantcenter.com by texting new life 7050 to 77977 or by selecting the donate option on our website, newlifecovenantcenter.com. Let us remember to pray for each other, especially for those who are sick, shut in, or have lost a loved one. Remember also to be God's hands extended to those in need and share a word of encouragement to lift someone's spirit. See you next Sunday at 10 a.m. in person or online for our weekly Sunday service. We look forward to you joining us in worship. God bless you, NLCC family.